What is going on everybody? It's JT back for another video. What I want to discuss in this video <clears throat> is the black hole in the north. Uh, they call it the black web, Charlotte's web. <clears throat> um, so basically, um, as you start understanding, uh, you know, occult symbolism and coding and uh, the way they communicate with each other, in this ancient mystery religion, you, uh, you know, and the longer you are aware of it, you start noticing patterns, you know, uh, you know, you, we wake up to this and, you know, we're like, man, you know, I woke up to this maybe six months ago and you'll start seeing some patterns when you've been, wo when woken up to it for, you know, five, six, seven years, you'll just see it manifest over and over and over and over and over again, you know, uh, it's pretty insane. So basically you have this black hole, right? And this light being emitted from the black hole. And this is just, you know, a uh, sci-fi ambient channel on YouTube. You know, it's like to your normal everyday person, they're like, oh, it's a black hole with light coming out of it, right? Won't really think much of it. But you'll start to understand that these people are what you would call illuminated. And there's more of them than you probably are aware of uh they're in your hometown like i said there there are a lot of them are or you know your lawyers your judges your magistrates um the law down here is actually the wall god made the law the spiritual laws that are in place and governed by the most high father god and upheld by the lord jesus christ that's the law okay now the thing is is they build the antichrist kingdom down here and it's the satanic law of reversal they they flip everything upside down okay it's the law of reversal they say the lord's prayer backwards they play phonographic records backwards they walk backwards they talk backwards right that's why michael jackson right michael is 33 in numerology jack is ja they call their god ja ck is 311 of the son of ja 33 the son of Yah 33, Jabulon, is the uh, Masonic God. Okay? <clears throat> Even their names. And what the Holy Spirit's been revealing to me is the whole English language was designed at the very spiritual founda foundational level to be a reversal of the truth. It is an abomination. The whole English language <sighs> is designed in the image of the beast. And he just shows me how this manifests over and over and over again. People's names. You'll just say, oh, that's just a name. It's just a last name. When you understand the letters are basically, they manifest from the spirit realm, okay? And then you spell. You're casting spells and they make words. And then it's cursive. Then you add these words together. You're basically casting spells, but all sound and vibration comes from the spirit realm, okay? It's truly remarkable and magnificent how this all works okay but you have this black hole with this light coming out of the middle right now let me just show you some things so we understand that the spirit of the cherub appeared to be a wheel in the middle of a wheel right and the spirit of the cherub go, go to ezekiel chapter one i believe ezekiel chapter three and ezekiel chapter 28 uh talk about the cherub angel and this i believe was on a post from sister sonia about the x right and I believe it's the Aleph or the Tef. But anyways, this is the ancient mark of the beast, supposedly. The circle X, the XO, the cross circle. All right. <clears throat> the heart of the sigil of Noden's got to be abyss. Okay. So if this is true, if this is true, this is what Sister Sonya posted. Uh, you should uh, subscribe to her channel. If I remember, I'll put a link to her channel so you can subscribe. She posts very now very good information on there okay now remember the spirit of the cherub appeared to be a wheel in the middle of the wheel and this and the cherub had four faces this, the face of a lion a man an ox and an eagle and one morning i was deep in prayer and i said god a lion a man an ox and an eagle and he told me that satan is the god of electromagnetism luke 10 16 or 10 18 jesus christ said i'll be held satan as lightning falling from the heaven well electro electricity is electricity and magnetism That'd be the eagle and the man. E and M was for electricity, electricity and magnetism. Now the ox and the eagle, or the uh, the lion 
and the ox was for light and oscillation. See, God's the God of spirits and the Father of lights. Now, this is the beast that's male and female. So, it has four faces. Look, uh, out of one face, out of one side, is, is light, magnification, oscillation, and electricity. It's male and female. Okay? It's light and electromagnetism. The heart of the sigil of Nodin is God of the Abyss. Okay, now this is what they call the sun god. This is Apollyon, the Antichrist, Osiris risen. Okay, all has to be in the image of the beast. Okay, now this is the cross. This is the cross. The sign of the cross is not for the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It is for Apollo. The cross is Apollo's sign. Everybody who has a cross hanging from their rearview mirror is wearing a crucifix. All these things. It's not holy. We're not supposed to have graven images. Make nothing in the sky, in the earth, or in the sea beneath. It's an abomination. Read your holy Bible. Okay? <clears throat> but these people wear the cross because it's a sign for Apollo. They're really about the golden cross because it's the golden sun. Okay? It's Apollo, the sun god. Now they're saying the heart of the sigil of Nodin is God of the abyss. So the sun god is the god of the abyss. And if you've been watching the videos on this channel... What all the research and knowledge that I've acquired throughout the years is leading me up to is that we are in the abyss of heaven. That the story of Genesis 1 was Lucifer's creation when him and the fallen were cast into the abyss. That is why that God had to make a deferment in the midst of the waters to divide the waters above from the waters below. And if you watch the Adamantium video, it will really open your eyes to some things that you've maybe never understood. These are mind-blowing revelations. Uh, pray and discern everything I tell you. I'm simply a man seeking truth. And I hear in the spirit realm. And this is what the God is giving me. Sometimes we uh, can misinterpret. Okay? Uh, go to your Holy Bible. Pray to God. Wait for the Holy Spirit to deliver it to you. But those are the four faces of the cherub. Light, magnification, Yay. oscillation, and electricity. Because the God of spirits and the Father of lights, everything in the spirit realm is made of light and oscillation. Okay? And the physical matter, the neutron, from what I'm understanding, is the light. And then is, is basically attached to a positively charged molecule that keeps it trapped, right? That attaches to it, like a mate. And it's positively charged. And, it, and then you have the electron going around the outside. It's like an electromagnetic membrane or prison that is imprisoning light and oscillation. And everything in here is made out of light oscillation and it's electromagnetized from Satan because he's a god of lightning. And then he can alchemate and change things that God didn't make. Okay? It's alchemy, the periodic table. That's all of Satan. Okay? So you have this uh, black hole recordings, and I'm just like, okay. And I've been listening to this record label. I love electronic music, dance music, trance, all this stuff. DJ Tiesto and all these like world-renowned famous DJs have uh, recorded on this label, uh, released tracks, DJ mixes on this label, and this label is very, very uh, well-known in the electronic dance music community and been around for decades. So you have black hole recordings, and then look, it's the black hole. It's the black hole, and it's spinning. Kind of like the stars in the firmament, right? The Ferris wheel. Ferris, remember, F-E-R-R-I-S. They just changed the way it's spelled. It's Ferris, like a Ferris magnet, God. right? It's the monster magnet Bobby. that is up in the sky that keeps the souls from ascending into heaven. Okay, sin changes your polarity and makes you Ferris. Ferris is F-E on the pure... Iron is Fe on the periodic table. It makes you female. And then when you give up the ghost, the sin actually changes your polarity and makes you Ferris. And then you go to the monster magnet, the Ferris wheel up in the sky. That's why all the stars in the sky uh, rotate around the black hole. Okay. And then I was then I was just surfing YouTube and I saw this. And I'm like, pure progressive, and look, it's the black hole, right? And it's sinful biz, magnetic. Like it's a sinful business. That thing is full of sin and it's business. And it's magnetic. 
and look at the bottom right, it's the black hole. See, they're telling us once we become aware of our surroundings and are not self-absorbed in our own feelings and emotions and, and feeding the flesh, we start looking outside of ourselves and we can start understanding these things, right? And I just saw this and I thought this was interesting because I had come to this revelation years ago. Uh, I used to make DMT. Uh, I've smoked it well over 100 times, 200 times. I've spent a lot of time up in the ethereal realm and it took me a while. I would say probably by about the, I don't know how many times I'd done it till I started kind of understanding what I was doing. I was, I was astral projecting and I had been hissed at up there and they're shapeshifters. See these, these uh, entities up in the ether, they're serpentine, they're water spirits. It's Leviathan, right? They can change their vibration. They can shapeshift on demand. All right, they're lowercase g, lowercase gods, but they live up in the ether. They're spirit beings, okay? <clears throat> um, one time I was coming back from uh, from a blast. They call it blasting off, or they call DMT the universe cannon. You're out there for roughly 10 minutes when you smoke it, and then you come back, and there's a, there's a place where you're, like, transitioning back into your body, Okay, it's called the in-between, where you're like out there, you're still projecting out there, but you're like, you're in your body at the same time, but you can still see in the, in the ether, okay? We're dimensional beings, okay? <clears throat> and I was coming back, I was not living a holy life by any means at this time, and I still fail miserably, even though I'm actively seeking God, <laughs> right? We all are, um, but... <clears throat> When I was coming back, I heard a voice plainly say, thank you, Satan. And I was like, thank you, Satan. I was like, was that me? Was that an entity around me? Why did I just hear thank you, Satan? And I started putting it together. I'm like, dude, these things are like, they look serpentine. They shape shift. And I'm like, am I up in the ether hanging out with fallen angels? And I had this, uh, this epiphany. I'm like, dude, I'm legitimately going up there and hang, hanging out with fallen angels. This is what I'm doing. I'm astral projecting. It didn't take me long to figure it out after uh, I had that experience, right? So anyways, we go here. This is a Neural Pathways channel, and he posts a lot of stuff. But look, this is ancient, from daily ancient places and artifacts. And I would subscribe to Neural Pathways. A lot of good information on here. But look, do you see that? To the normal person, they might not understand what this is, right? But look, it's... The, it's it's the it's the black sun and the four faces of the black sun, lion, man, ox, and eagle. It's the cross, with the black hole, the four faces of the anointed cherub. This has been known for thousands of years, okay. And like I said, patterns. You start seeing patterns in absolutely everything when you've been aware of it for years and years and years. It just solidifies itself. No. This is ancient. This has been known for thousands of years. No, and what they do is they keep the information, the knowledge from the general public. They keep them ignorant of what's going on. Because the whole game is they're stealing your light and feeding the black sun your energy. Antimatter. Antimatter. Right? Track 8 from Album of Felion. And look, it's the black sun. And that's the light coming from the black sun. Because the black sun is legitimately, we're in the abyss, all right? Leviathan is a water spirit. Leviathan lives in water. When Jonah went to hell, he went. God prepared a beast for him. It was they call it a whale, but it was a beast. He was in the belly of the beast. He, and, the, and Jonah says he actually went to hell. He went to the black sun, into the belly of the beast, into the belly of Leviathan. Okay, he's stealing your light. That's the whole game. That is the whole game. That's the whole game. Okay, and what they do is, so he's in the water, and we actually live in the in the biodome in between the waters above and the waters below, and we are mixed with a serpent now. Adam got mixed with a serpent. We're hybrids now. Okay, Polaris is the head of the dragon. The sun is the illuminated left eye. The moon is the right eye, blue. Right? You can say red sun, blue moon, they're opposites. They're polar and the black sun, the pineal, and the middle is the head of the dragon, Polaris, the tri-star. And the seven wandering stars are the seven chakras of the serpent, the dragon that lives in the waters above. That's spirit. You're seeing spirit up there. The stars are all spirit. They're light and oscillation. And Leviathan is light and oscillation. 
And from what I'm understanding, that all the stars and the firmament and the constellation are the gods and the fallen angels, and the many stars are the souls of the of the damned. They get trapped in the black web. It's the outer darkness. It's the outer darkness. Okay? You're actually looking at the ethereal realm and the spirit realm and the outer darkness when you look up in the heavens and the waters above. Okay? <clears throat> So uh, there's this gentleman here, and that's his name. And I just said he's a truther, and he's got a lot of subs. And I said, you ever talk about the black hole in the north? And he says, black holes are not real as far as outer space is concerned. Really? What black hole are you speaking of exactly, and where is the proof of this claim? And then I respond, and I just said, look up sun dogs. It's the black hole. Lucifer. Lucifer is legitimately the black hole, or set. And then there's... Isis is the moon and Horus is the sun. Isis, Horus, set, just like the finger rings of the Jesuits have. God of electricity and magnetism. The sun and moon are projections on the firmament. The molten looking glass coming from Apollyon or Abaddon. Revelation 9-11, the angel of the bottomless pit, pit, or the angel of the well, the cistern, the abyss. Right? Male, sun, and female moon. It's the 666, the three orbs in the north. Polaris. Polaris is the tri-star. The black sun, the sun, and moon. Isis, moon, Horus, sun, and set black sun, which is the black hole. The sun dog is the all-seeing eye projecting and broadcasting light frequency into the dome. Okay? The light bearer is Lucifer. The light is the sun, the word of Lucifer. Apollo of Jesus Christ of Nazareth is the word of the Father. The opposite, the 33, the mirrored image of the father is the mother, Lucifer, the Dosekis. And the mother's son would be Apollo, the opposite of Christ, the 33, the mirror image of Christ, because he's a copycat, but he inverts the truth. Right? It gives the light while the moon pulls or receives the light. This is why there are tides. The North Star is the center of the Ferris wheel. Ferris, like a Ferris magnet. Sin changes your polarity. It's a black hole. Sin changes the polarity of humans and makes them Ferris or female, Iron Man. Just like Black Sabbath. I am Iron Man. Is he alive or is he dead? Because the symbol for iron on the periodic table is F-E, female. And remember, the blood contains the life. That's why they're not supposed to drink the blood, but your blood needs iron. Because the iron this is actually make is uh, magnetic and it, it, your soul is actually is uh, being basically imprisoned by the blood. And when you spill the blood, remember, your, remember God said, your brother's blood cries to me from the ground. The blood contains the life, and the blood has hemoglobin, which is made of iron. That's why your, your, blood, your spirit is within the blood. Okay? So Lucifer's name was translated from Isaiah. Okay? And when you go from the Hebrew, right, it was translated to Lucifer, but in Hebrew it was Hellel or Hell. You're legitimately going to Hellel or Hell when you are die unatoned for in Christ's blood, when you're Ferris, which is 90, roughly, what, 90% of the population. And when you look up a ring magnet under a ferro fluid cell, that is the owl or Molech. Molecular, right? The owl, and I'm going to show this to you. And I've covered this in previous videos. Neutrons are light and oscillation. The word and the proton attaches to the frequency, the neutron. Then the electrons basically imprison the bonded neutrons and protons, electromagnetism. Luke 10, 16, Satan, the god of lightning and thunder, electricity and magnetism. Polaris is polarity. It's polar. It's magnetic. Just like the Coca-Cola CC 33 polar bears because it's Ursa Minor. The North Star is Ursa Minor, the bear. Electricity and magnetism. The seven wandering stars are the chakras of Leviathan. That is why people in New Age, they have these seven chakras because we were made in the image of the beast. Watch the Adamantium video. And Polaris is the head of the dragon. The sun is the left eye. The moon is the right eye. And the black sun is the pineal gland, just like our brains because we were made in the image of the beast. Go to Genesis 1, read it, and weigh it with what I'm saying, and it makes 100% perfect sense. From I understanding what I believe the Holy Spirit is telling me is that the Bible... Dude, it was, the Catholic Church has had their hand on it. The Scots, King James has had his hand on it, right? It's been edited to a degree. Words, meanings have been changed. And I'm not saying, Jesus Christ said the Holy Spirit will lead you into all truth. Let no man teach you. So you read and then you pray and let the Holy Spirit give you the gift of discernment so you can discern what's going on. That's why the book of Revelation has said if any words of this have been changed, it's like he said there is like extreme judgment. 
coming because why would he say it? Because he probably knew that these scriptures would be edited and changed because they can't let you know the truth. Okay. Pray and discern everything I tell you. I'm not here to mislead anybody. So the seven wandering stars are the shockers of Leviathan and players as the head of the dragon living in the waters above. He created man in his image, male and female, androgynous. You have a left brain, left lobe, and a right lobe in your brain. You're made male and female. The serpent is made in the image of the beast. Remember, male and female created he them in one temple. The serpent's androgyne. That's why all these people in Hollywood... They marry each other. They're all in the. It's all in the family, right? And they 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 interbreed, and they're not allowed to date outside of their race. They're very pure bloodlines. Okay, and this is the big secret. They're male and female. They probably have male reproductive and female reproductive organs. Okay, and I believe when they're younger, when they're male and female, like there there's probably some kind of ritual or ceremony where they choose what sex they want to present themselves to the image or to the public, what image they want to present themselves to the public. Now I'll get a little more into this later, later but this is the line of Cain, okay? Okay, so line of Cain, male and female, very pure blood. And so they're recycling Adam. So when you die unatoned for, and you have the, the knowledge and illumination, you don't know what's going on, you're just living life, feeding the flesh, it turns you ferris because you have sin, and you're damned, and you're not atoned for in Christ's blood. God is light, Adam was his son. Lucifer and his angels were kicked out of heaven and have no energy. God is life and light. Now they need energy to build their kingdom down here. Because they're in the abyss. There's no light. They're cut off from God. Okay? Light or sun in the sky is the male aspect of Polaris. It's the light he steals from Adam and the damned. Because when you die unatoned for in your Ferris, you go up to the Ferris wheel. The monster magnet and he rips your light out of you. That is what the sun actually is. They're building the philosopher's stone. Free energy. And the free energy is us. Right? They eat from the tree of life because Adam was of the tree of life and they want to live forever. It's the 33. It's the mirror image. You can... You want some juice, buddy? Okay. Okay. It's the light he steals from Adam and the damned. Getting more and more until the philosopher's stone is completed. The Freemasons are the fallen FM and AM building the Philosopher's Stone. Unlimited free energy. Because they're cut off from God and they need energy. We're batteries that make more batteries. We're fruitful and we multiply and we make more light. Light is infinite and eternal. That's why when people go to hell, they, 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 they're they there forever for eternity. Because it cannot be annihilated. It cannot be killed. Right? And they need energy. So if Adam is reproducing and reproducing, it's a battery making a battery making a battery making a battery. And then they're building this huge philosopher's stone that is free energy. And once they get enough energy to sustain their kingdom, they're going to wipe everybody out. Out of Adam and the hewn man. It's human is hewn man, hewn stone. The Freemasons hew stone because we're living stones, building up a spiritual house, a church. Well, there's Satan's church, and he has to cut and shape you and hew you and out of bricks, and he's making the pyramid, the philosopher's stone. Okay? The earth is a pyramid with four corners. Revelation 7, 1, the circle is the Antarctic ice ring. Isaiah 40, 22, cast out as a tent. A tent with four corners is a pyramid. It's on your money. We all live in a yellow submarine, just like the beetle said. It's a biodome underwater in the deep. Genesis 1, the light bearer is Lucifer. Let there be light. Genesis 1 was after he was cast out of heaven into the, into the abyss, where in the celestial abyss, that is why it gets dark outside. God's the light. There is no darkness in heaven. Lucifer and the fallen are cut off from God in heaven, so they steal light from Adam and build down here in the abyss. And they're cut off from God. They need energy. So what they do, they recycle Adam and steal Adam's light. It's a fake inverted kingdom for him and the fallen. They run everything here and the peasants get lied to and they steals their light when they give up the ghost on atone for in Christ's blood. Here you go again, Marion. Look, it's the, it's the eye. It's the monster magnet. It's the Ferris wheel in the sky. Here's Bloom. And they, the, Lucifer looks like a mushroom. It's a wheel in the middle of the wheel. Delta waves. Look, it's another black hole. It's a black hole. Up in the sky. Right? <clears throat> now here's Altrusian Grace Media the Gnostic Tarot so you have the pyramid with the eye on the top and it's the cross it's an upside down cross and look remember that signal or that sign the cross in the middle of a circle interesting huh Lucifer the spear of the cherub had four faces lion, man, ox and eagle see he's the subwoofer 
what he does, if you understand anything about electricity, um, there they can uh, change the power. It's called like a power inverter, I believe. And what they can do is they can change, like it's like how a speaker works in an amp. You take electricity and turn it into sound, or they can take sound and turn it into electricity, right? They convert the power. See, Adam is light and oscillation. He's made of sound, all right? It's all frequency. Adam is made of sound. Light and oscillation is sound. Sound is light. Light is sound. It's all frequency. So when he steals the light, he's the subwoofer, right? He's subterranean. He's sub heaven. He's under the heaven, okay? In the abyss. And he's woofing. He's the dog. He's barking. The opposite of God is dog. And it's the subwoofer, okay? And he's converting uh, light and oscillation into more light. He's, he's keeping the light, but it's also electromagnetic. As crazy as this sounds, research everything I tell you. And look, there's the white Jesus. And when you go to Revelation, it says that he was dark skinned and he had hair like lamb's wool. Yeshua HaMashiach was from the tribe of Judah and he was dark skinned. So they turn everything upside down and steam as the potter's clay. They're going to give you a white Jesus with long hair, right? When it says a man's not supposed to have long hair, right? There's the heart. They call Lucifer the heart of the ocean, right? The heart deceiveth above all. Who can know it? Follow your heart. No, 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 no. That's not Jesus. That's Apollo. Okay. Apollo, Lucifer, the cross. Interesting. There's the black sun in the pyramids. Mike Todd, Transformation Church. Right? Because they're transforming you. They're making you Ferris. They're getting you to love your sin, follow your heart, do what your heart tells you to do, turning you female, and then you go to the fee Ferris wheel, the female wheel, the black sun. False teachers, there's the black sun again. Why do they keep showing the black sun? Here's another thing. Male and female created he them. Line of Cain. Bill Gates is 33 in numerology. And look, that is a female that... It's actually a line of cane. It probably has male and female sex organs, or it did until it had surgery. It presents itself as a man, but Bill Gates has the widest hips and narrowest shoulders, and Bill Gates will always have a sweater on over in Oxford to hide, try to. It's obvious that it's an abomination. This is line of cane right here. Black sun. Black sun. Lux, remember, Lux Ferris. Lucifer is Lux, light, and then Ferris. Luciferus, Lux Ferris, means basically iron light. It's the iron light. Remember, Santa Claus is Satan's claws. The dragon has claws. Leviathan has claws. Satan claws. Lives in the North Pole. In the North, it's the black hole in the North. Lux Ferris. The black sun. It's the Ferris wheel. Okay. There's actually a college up here called Ferris State. And it's the bulldogs. But bulldogs, remember, dog backwards is God. It's the bull god. The Ferris State bull gods is what they're, what they're actually saying. This is ancient. This is from Neural Pathways. Look, it's the black sun. And the light's coming from the black sun. Because they call Lucifer the light bearer. Lucifer, another name is Lux Ferris, uh, Columbia, Hillel. Uh, many names. Many names. But the light comes from Lucifer, the light bearer. And he's stealing Adam's light. And they're making an idol. And the Philosopher's Stone. Unlimited free energy down here in the abyss. He's building his own kingdom. They're the Freemasons. They're builders. They're building a kingdom underwater. We're legitimately an amphibious race. We're mixed. Adam, we're hybrids. We're the tree of life and tree of knowledge of good and evil. We're hybrids now, but there are very pure serpentine bloodlines down here. Okay? And look, all the light is coming from the eye. All the light is coming from the eye because it's Adam's light. He just keeps taking more and more. We keep reproducing and we keep living in sin. And he gets more and more. And it's just, this is, the, the Masons call this place an egg farm. They call it an egg farm. Because our, our soul looks like a toroidal field. Look. And a toroidal field looks like a molecule, which looks like an eye. Right? Is our soul trapped inside of a toroidal field? 
encapsulated by the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Right? Dude, look. It's all wheels and wheels. Black suns. That is the eye. Look. See the, the light in the middle, and then there's light being emitted from the right side, the left side, the top, and the bottom. Those are the golden arches. Do you see the golden arches? That is the pupil. That is the all-seeing eye. It's called a sun dog. When there's when it's very, very cold out, you can see these. It has to be very, very, very cold out. Something to do with probably the condensation, very low condensation levels, either letting the light through or, ma or the ice crystals magnifying what's going on up in the heavens, up in the north, and you can see the eye. That's the eye. Lion, man, ox, and eagle. Light, magnetism, electricity, oscillation. Let's see the wheel in the middle of the wheel. The spirit of the cherub, the spirit of Lucifer appeared to be a wheel in the middle of the wheel. And see that, that orange thing? Orange 33 in numerology? That's Adam's light that's being stolen. It's the light bearer. See, it's a black hole. And, and they say that light can't even escape a black hole. It can't. Unless he allows it. Like, do you understand? You're trapped in there. That's the pit. That is the pit. That's the womb. That's the dosekis, the XX, the divine feminine, the hole. Women have holes. Men have phalluses. That's the monolith coming out of the hole. That's why the Vatican, St. Peter's Basilica, has the Eightfold Path of Enlightenment, the monolith coming out. Because that's the sun god that lives in the womb of the divine feminine, Columbia, the light bearer, Lucifer, the light bearer. Do you see? Apollo is inside living in the phoenix is living in the divine feminine, the black hole. Now see the phoenix? It's male and female. See, it's red and blue. It's left and right. It's Republican and Democrat. It's polar. 303, 33, and then the O. It's the I. Dream state logic, black sun, sun, and moon. See, they all know this. Magnetic. Look, magnetic is magenta. Magenta is like a purplish color, right? And I looked up the definition of magenta, and it says it's not male or female. It's not hot or cold. It's right in the middle. It's neutral, right? And it's magnetic. Do you understand? Male and female. Blue and per blue and red make purple the color of royalty because it's androgyn. Androgyny is the image of the beast. He's bringing the male and the female together. The serpent was made in the image of these male and female created he them. If God made man in his image after his likeness, he's the father. And the Bible talks about the sons of God, the sons of God in heaven, the sons of God. It never says daughters. It always says sons of God. It never once mentions daughters of God. It always says sons of God. So the God in Genesis one makes them male and female created he them. They were made in the image of God. The dragon is male and female. It's androgyne, the serpent was androgyne made in Genesis 1. Remember when Cain, so God made Adam, Adam, you know, uh, Eve was fashioned from Adam, taken from the man, right? They had Cain and Abel. Now Cain killed Abel, got kicked out of Eden, dwelt in the land of Nod, and met a wife. So where does wife come from? Because it was the tree of knowledge of good and evil. They were family trees. Adam was of the tree of life. The serpent was of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. His wife was androgyne. Male and female created he them. There was another family tree there. There were two. Oh, there were also two trees in the midst of the garden. Those were family trees. Those weren't fruit trees. The sound of God. Look, it's the star of David. It's the Walmart. It's the hexagon. Right? It's male and female. The light coming from the sun is hexagonal. Look at every snowflake is six-sided. It's six-sided. It's the image of the beast is the hexagon. Male and female. Look at the Israeli flag. It's a right-side-up pyramid representing the male and an upside-down pyramid representing the female. And it makes a hexagon. It's the image of the beast. The star of David is the star of Remphan. That's what it really is. And it's the image of the beast. Israel's flag is the image of the beast. And everything here is in the image of the beast because the sun is projecting the frequency of the beast. Then your pineal gland picks up on the frequency of the beast. That's the radio signal. And then your brain is a processor, right? 
It's polar. It's a processor, and it processes the, the, the sound and frequency of the beast. And then you do what the beast tells you to do, and you're of your father the devil if you're, li if you're living through your flesh. The spirit wars against the flesh. The flesh wars against the spirit. Because our flesh is tainted. A little leaven leaveneth the whole lump. We're all mixed now in your serpentine. Your flesh is. Okay? And what they're doing is they are changing your polarity. They're changing your polarity and making you Ferris, and then you're of Satan's, and then you go to Hillel, and he rips your light out. And you spend eternity in the black sun. You do not want to go there. See what I was telling you before? See the cross in the middle? Lion, man, ox, eagle, the spirit of the cherub, the eightfold path of enlightenment. Look up the analog of the sun, sun, it makes an eight, and that is the phallus, the light coming from the black hole. That's Apollo in the middle. And the St. Peter's Basilica is a giant snake. See the two eyes, the crown, it's, a, it's pregnant, and that's also Leviathan. That's the water serpent that lives in the waters above the firmament. Okay, those are the two eyes. The crown is the, also the black sun, the left eye, and the right eye, the sun and moon. That's the head of the dragon. And then the seven chakras, the seven wandering stars are the chakras, their spirit. They're made of light. Okay, there's no such thing as planets. You can't land on them. It's all lie. Those are the waters above. And Leviathan, the, 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 the whale that swallowed up Jonah, was legitimately Leviathan, and he went up to hell. Leviathan swallowed him up. The Invisible Storm by David One. The Invisible Storm, that's the whirlpool. All the stars spin around the black hole, the waters above, the black web. Okay? The Ferris wheel. And the Invisible Storm is actually happening above us. We're in the abyss, I'm telling you. Black holes. Jeremiah. As if, for those who have eyes to see, church, all these churches have phalluses. It's all Antichrist. I'm telling you... The majority of churches out there, Methodist, Presbyterian, Catholic, they're all Antichrist. All of them. Cosmic Gate, and it's the black hole. Okay? Dream state logic, latent images and distant dreams, a black hole again. Remember, the God of electromagnetism, and it looks like the eye. It's a wheel in the middle of the wheel. See, the neutrons are, are blue. That's the light and oscillation. That's the word. They're actually made of light and oscillation. Okay? That's why these spirit beings, they can change their frequency. They're not encapsulated with an electromagnetism, mag I believe. They could be praying to discern everything I tell you. Okay? But that's the light and oscillation. And then the proton actually binds to the frequency. Binds to it. Okay? Now... They magnetize it with these electrons and encapsulate the light and imprison it within a membrane. And now he can take God's light and transfigure it any way he wants. And that's what's going on down here. They're making their own kingdom and they can do whatever they want to do. They're, we're being our own gods. The fallen are being their own gods. And they're making abominations. Poisoning, creation, and just this whole thing is an abomination. Because now they can alchemate matter. But they need God's light. They need light to do this. And God is light. He made everything. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God. The Word was God. John 1.1. 1, 1. See, Genesis 1 and John 1.1 1, 1 are not the same thing. Pray and discern everything I tell you. I've been praying to God for years to give me the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And this is where the Spirit's leading me. But pray and discern everything I tell you. I'll be judged for my actions and my words. Okay, and God also said that teachers will be judged more harshly, so I don't take this lightly at all, at all. Sometimes it scares me, the things he shows me, and I'm like, dude, <laughs> the eye, pure trance, and look, it's the black sun and the light, the rainbow, the light. We put light through a prism, it makes all the colors of the rainbow, so all the light the light bearer. It's coming from the black sun, the black hole. Just, dude, this is all perfect. Look at the Google quantum computer, Sycamore. Sycamore is 33 or 36 in numerology. Look it up. I looked it up, but look it up. And it, look, it's a circle within a square at the top. 
the Masonic swearing compass. You can't make this stuff up. You cannot make this stuff up. And it's gold. It's gold. Just like the sun, the phallus, right? You can't make this stuff up. It's too perfect. The black sun emitting the light. See the light coming from the black sun and then the sun actually is a is a, a, a projection on the firmament. It's the light going through the firmament. That's what we actually see. The blacks. Why is there just a black orb? This is a thumbnail for a video. It's just a black orb. Now, this is logic before authority, and I actually had a Christian brother say, go to this channel, check this out, this is good information. Now, he claims to be a Christian from what I understand, but check out my brand new Supernatural Resurrection Dress. Just added its Supernatural Show story. If you know the story, then you get it, because the people with the knowledge and illumination know that this is the image of the beast. The black sun is the black hole in the north. It's Dos Equis. It's the XX, the divine feminine, the Masonic square compass make the Dos Equis, the XX, the female chromosomes right? And the light, that is the monolith. The light coming from Apollo. The Columbia is the light bearer. And that's the womb, right? And then the light is coming from Columbia. That's the sun god. The son of their god, the grand architect. The Dos Equis, the divine feminine, the mother. Jesus Christ said, when you pray, you pray to the father. Our father who art in heaven. Well, they pray to the mother. Because the mother got kicked out of heaven and is in the earth, in the abyss. Now this is, this person's name is Bucky Brown and they're like male and female. See, look, that looks like a chick, but that looks like a dude, right? It's androgyne. It's the image of the beast. This person has only made like very, very, very few videos, but has almost a million subscribers because the whole world worships the image of the beast. Look, the left looks like a female. The right looks like a male. Left looks like female. Right looks like male. Right? You can't tell. You can't tell. Left, female, right, male. It's androgyne. This is the image of the beast. That's what the whole transgender agenda is about. Worshipping the serpent, the image of the beast, because Leviathan is male and female. Your nervous system is left lobe, right lobe. It's the tree of knowledge of good and evil. This is all in your holy Bible. Left, female, right, male. Left, female, right, male. Now, this is a manual Lutheran church, right? This is a church here in the town I live in. And you're like, oh, Lutheran church, they worship Jesus. We should go to church. No, don't. I, right? I. So it's the I, L, and C. L is the 12th letter. C is the third. It's 36. It's 666 I. And it's the cross. That's the cross, right? Lion, man, ox, eagle. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. I'm almost done. I'm, yeah. Yeah, I'm almost done, bud. What you doing? Hey, mama. Yep, see, that's Moloch. That's the owl. Molecular. Mama. Left and right. Male and female. Positive hey, and negative. North hey, and mama. south. North and south. Hey, mama. Pray about this message. Discern everything I tell you. The God of electricity and magnetism. Okay? The God of electricity and magnetism. Goodbye.